Hello friends, this video on integrals part 40 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 40. These kind of questions we have done actually where we have x into x to the power, for example, x into x plus k to the power m kind of thing, right? So what we do in this case, because my x plus k to the power m we have, which is difficult to expand, we assume this guy as t. So this becomes nothing but x plus k if you take t, x becomes t minus k into t to the power m. This is easy to solve because t to the power m into t minus k is nothing but t to the power m plus 1 minus k into t to the power m. Integration of this is simple actually, correct? But integration of this is difficult because it expands this. So here also we will do the same thing. We will take x plus 2 as t we can take or we can take t square also because if you take t square then also you can solve. If you take t also then also you can solve. So let's take t only. This becomes dx is equal to dt. So what this guy? x is nothing but t minus 2. So this is nothing but t minus 2 into t to the power 1 by 2 dt. Now when x is 0, when x is 0, t is what? x plus 2 that is 0 plus 2 that is 2. This becomes 2. When x is equal to 2, t is what? t is equal to 2 plus 2 that is 4. So this is my value. So this is nothing but I will say integral of t to the power 3 by 2 minus 2 into t to the power 1 by 2 dt from 2 to 4. This is nothing but t to the power 5 by 2 by 5 by 2 minus 2 into t to the power 1 by 2 plus 1 that is 2 to the power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 and the value is from 2 to 4. So if we solve this, this is nothing but 5 into t to the power 5 by 2 that is 4 to the power 5 by 2 right sorry this is 2 here by 5 minus again we will take 4 2 into 2 by 3 into t that is 4 to the power 3 by 2 this thing minus now we will take t as 2 so this becomes 2 by 5 into 2 to the power 5 by 2 minus here 2 into 2 by 3 into instead of 4 I will take t as 2 2 to the power 3 by 2. This is what I will get. So if you solve this, this is nothing but if you see 4 to the power 5 by 2 that is 2 to the power 5 that is 32 into 2 that is 64 by 5 minus 4 to the power 3 by 2 is nothing but 2 to the power 3 8 8 into 4 32 by 3 minus here 2 to the power 5 by 2 into 2 that is nothing but 8 root 5 by 5 and this is plus this becomes 4 8 root 2 by 3 correct and if you solve this actually what you will get is 1 one sixteen root 2 root 2 plus 1 by 15 and that is my answer. So not a great question, very easy question actually. We knew that if we have this kind of uh, integrand, we convert this into simpler form by taking, you can, you can have taken x plus t is equal to t square also in this case. With that also you would have got the same answer. In this question, we have to find integration of sin x by 1 plus cos square x. If you see, this is a very, not that very difficult question because if you just put cos x as t, the equation turns out to be 1 by 1 plus t square dt, correct? So you get integrated differentiate both sides, you get minus sin x dx equal to dt. So this guy is sin x dx we have. So this guy is nothing but minus dt by 1 plus t square integral, correct. Now we have to change the value of this because this is from the very x varies from 0 to 
pi by d. I have to find the how the t varies, and the equation we have is cos x is equal to t. Cos zero is what one. Cos pi by two is what zero. So my t varies from one to zero. That is one to zero. So if we integrate there, this is nothing but minus of tan inverse t, and this is nothing but from zero one to zero. And this is nothing but minus of tan inverse zero minus tan inverse one, and the other thing will be minus of tan inverse zero is zero and tan inverse one is pi by four minus of minus pi by four is plus pi by four, and that is the answer. Also, if you note that when you do an integration of definite integral, you don't have any constant part. You get the fixed value. Why? Because if you have any uh, uh, function, you are doing a Finite integral of this definite integral. This part is always constant, so you don't get the constant part. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.